Tuesday, the 22nd of December, 24 days of random awesomeness. And uh, yes, it's getting cold. It is quite cold in here. And uh, you also feel that it becomes, or we are near Christmas Day or Christmas Eve because uh, people are getting crazy running around with their cars everywhere, way too fast to buy stuff. And um, best time for me to hide in my man cave, have a nice warm alcoholic beverage and grab our today's bag, which is the... A third last bag so um, yes two more um, things two more items to go and I showed this already yesterday quite lightweight uh, multiple pieces it sounds like some toys again let's have a look let's grab something random out of here something uh, maybe this one mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay what is this well um, that's a good question. <laughs> uh, I can tell you the name of this thing. Uh, this thing is called Afterburner. Uh, Afterburner uh, Cannon Launcher. Uh, yes, and it belongs to Dusty Hayens or Hayen. Hmm, and it's cologne. Well, um, let's put this for here because probably if you never owned this thing, you don't know what series it is because I think you know the series, but, um, or you could know it eventually. But um, let's 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 go right away with uh, what it is because else we have too much stuff to show. Maybe you recognize this car. Well, this car belongs to Matt Tracker. Matt Tracker was the founder and leader of an organization that fighted against criminalism and terrorism. Matt Tracker. He founded the organization Mask. Mask was a 1980s, mid 1980s, um, yeah, cartoon show featuring um, a lot of things like these cars, and they all could transform in a certain way. Um, so it's not like Transformers; it was quite different. Um, most of the time, um, the bad guys, by the way, um, they were called Venom, and um, the good guys tried to prevent Venom from uh, taking over the world and do um, illegal stuff. And uh, the show started usually, they were like uh, doing their business and then suddenly they get a call in that they get a new mission that they have to uh, accomplish. And uh, as I said, every car has some sort of a, a transforming uh, feature. And um, you had this red push button and when you pushed it, um, this happened. It's not working that good anymore because the springs are bad. But um, the doors fly up like this, this would come out these were basically rocket launchers and this car could fly. It will also reveal, in this case, um, this would pull up and it would reveal some rocket engines or uh, jet engines. So um, he could fly to his mission quite quickly. And um, yes, let's take out Matt. This is Matt, as I said, this is the founder of the Mask organization. Quite nice little action figures, really like those. Played a lot with these because it was quite a technical show. Everything was about uh, transforming uh, cars and stuff and uh, a lot of, uh, yeah, laser guns and yeah, all kinds of stuff that, uh, that I found interesting. Not only at the time. <laughs> uh, let's put, let's, let's have Matt a seat here. Um, this, by the way, yes, as I said before, this is called Afterburner. Afterburner rocket launcher. This is, uh, belongs to a Dusty Hayne. Hayes? Hayes? Hayes, I think. Um, uh, he's a mask member as well, so he belongs to the good guys. And this thing also can transform. You had this leveler here and you see that the wheels are starting to disintegrate. They look like melted, but I think it's simply the plastic that went bad. And when you push this button here, this happened and uh, it revealed a rocket launcher. And um, by the way, this also came off. I have to see how, did, how does that work. Uh, I think it was like simply yeah it required just some force to force it out there but this thing thing would separate and ugh, there we go this thing would separate it would reveal uh what was his name again uh i i basically wrote this down because um there were so many normal names that i could not um keep that in mind dusty hay dusty haze yes so this would be a rocket launcher and uh, he could fire it and uh, how do you fire it again can't remember. Oh, here on the side there is a button. 
so he would uh, adjust his uh, rocket launcher and then he would oh that flew quite far <laughs> quite far all right and then this thing um yeah of course this would open like that and uh, this would close so uh, it closed the cockpit and he could sit in there and uh, yes, uh, fly away or fly to the next mission. Uh, by the way, mask, why does it called mask? Because um, before they go to their mission, they usually put on their masks. And unfortunately, I just saw that this one just broke apart on me. Um, yeah, this one is hard. Usually it was some sort of a rubbery substance and now this um, dried out. So it's all uh, hardened up. But uh, usually there were a whole sequence when they put on their masks. So they were uh, sitting inside of a conference room or something and then the, these masks came down and they were, um, yes, helping them or giving them extra powers. I can't remember if they gave, gave them extra powers or if they just, uh, well, of course, they, I think they used them for communication purposes and stuff. Well, let's sit him here. Let's get to the next object. What do we have? Should we? Go? Yeah, let's go with that one. This one is part of the bad guys. This is Switchblade. Switchblade was quite cool because um, it was basically two things in one. And this is like the object. Um, this is Venom, and this is um, the the boss vehicle of um, the bad guys. So this was like the yeah the main uh, character's um, vehicle. And uh, oh, we have a date code here. Oops, everything falls out. We can see, I can't, but you can, where it is from and when it is made. It is made in 1985, Cincinnati, Ohio, made in Taiwan again. Um, all this good stuff comes from Taiwan. So this is Miles Mayhem. Mayhem? Miles Mayhem. This is like the, the father of all evil. Kind of looked like... Uh, I don't want to say the name, but Saddam. And he also had his evil mask. He had this mask. And uh, yes, and he was flying around in this thing, which was basically pretty cool because, uh, wait, let me close this up again. Again, one of these hatches that does not fit 100% anymore. Now, how would this work? Well, uh, he would be in its plane and this plane can transform again into an helicopter so you had those rockets that were in here so they can shoot out on the sides then this would go down those wings would go here this would turn over like this holding the wings in place or something yeah and then you can uh, push this button on the side and let me show this again. You push this and usually this would flop over like that. And then you have a helicopter where you can push here to make them fly. Also these things here, they come out. I think they come out. Ooh. Oh, I also see here was some sort of rocket launcher. Can't remember that. So basically you reveal the, the wings by flipping this over and the point this hits it a little mechanical thing in there and that releases the wings and this would come up and then you push the button here and those little rockets are or laser guns are coming out and then you had a jet plane let's put this here for now next to the candle where it can catch fire now what else do we have we have this little guy i should have started with that because nobody would know what this was now this was a little robot uh, best pal of uh, a little boy in the series and honestly I can't remember his name I can't remember the name of the the little boy but um, it could also transform from a standard rolling thing to a high-speed electric scooter robot kind of thing what else do we have we have this thing this is a uh, venom this belongs to venom and um, this belongs to sly Rex or Rex sly uh, I think this thing was called the racker and um, this is unfortunately broken. I just taped that together. But um, you had two buttons here, there and there. And when you push it, this would um, fall off or um, drive away somehow. And uh, you see it reveals some guns. It reveals some guns. Can I put this back? Yes, let's push this again. 
some guns and some little wings. And here's the second button. And when I push this, the whole thing <laughs> flies off and reveals some uh, serious rocket engines so this thing could fly around. Of course, there was a hatch that is missing. What else do we have? I think here we have another Venom vehicle. Yes, we have another Ven uh, Venom vehicle. This is uh, Iguana, I think. Iguana, and it belonged to Lester Sludge. Yes, of course, a bad guy is supposed to be named Lester Sludge. And yes, there were multiple things. I can't remember actually how, what, what was that? So you have a quad. And then when you flip this, it pulls together. There is some sort of a saw blade coming out. Oh yeah, and then this flops, turns over like that. And then you have guns coming out of some sort. I think that was it or wasn't it? I don't know. Or <laughs> let's um, move to the next one. <laughs> and this one, basically this motorcycle was green usually. But uh, I painted it black because I was a big fan of Street Hawk, the super motorcycle. Um, yeah, I was a big fan in the time. Um, a bike uh, similar to Knight Rider, um, like a super bike that had laser guns and rocket launchers and stuff. Usually, as I said, it is green. You can still see some green color here. And um, this name of this bike is a Condor and it was a part of uh, or belonged to Brett Turner. And this one could also transform... Oh yeah, it could transform into a helicopter. So you basically unleash this and that, and then you can rise these. So you have your spinny blades and this could come out like that. And I think that that was it, was it? I think so. And then you had your little helicopter bike that can fly around. Um, probably there were some guns or something up here that broke off over the years. Now, uh, let me have a look inside the back because I think this is one of the last items. One of the last, not the last, but one of the last items and that is of course one of the main things here when it comes to mask. And I will just check, I have some more uh, little figures here inside of the bag. So of course, this is like the flagship of mask. Um, this thing is called Rhino. It's the Rhino truck and uh, this is Bruce Sato, the actual uh, guy who belongs in here, who drives the truck. And uh, he had this orange mask, so it would come down like this from the ceiling like that in a music sequence usually. And then, um, yeah, he would drive to his mission. So this would come out and then it would reveal a whole control station in there. Pretty hard to see right now. Maybe it's easier when I uh, fire off the rocket because you see that there is a, a rocket. Um, well, it's a TV sat satellite, it says. And it's probably to, when I remember correct, to give like overview over the situation. And um, there is a little button here. And when I um, push this button, there we go. Uh, and even uh, it recloses the little hatch here. Quite nice. Let's try this again with the hatch open. Yes, quite cool. Now, can we see the can we see the control units in there? Hardly, but a little bit. We see a little bit how this looked. So, um, what else can this truck do? Well, a lot of stuff basically. You have uh, two hidden push buttons here. Uh, one, uh, I think, releases this thing, so you can push other vehicles out of the way. And the second one, I think is on this side and it would activate the ejector seat, <laughs> which is quite cool. Let me turn this around. So when I push this, you see it will throw out uh, somebody. And uh, yes, and then I think you had these, and I think these could be like twisted like that and then they become like big cannons. Yes. Then I think this thing could separate as well. So it is made in a way that uh, yeah, like this. So you had this thing could, that could uh, drive around and fire maybe some guns. I don't know if these are guns. I don't have no idea. Now, um, 
Usually I would say this was would be it, but um, as Santa put it me a, a little note um, on the side of all this stuff. Um, yes, um, I will bring something else in which belongs to the series. Uh, therefore, I need a lot of space. Boulder Hill, the gas station and headquarters of Mask. I remember getting this for Christmas. I really wanted this because I was yeah, a big fan. And uh, uh, of course, because of all this transformation stuff going on. And uh, it was quite a good show too, though. So um, yeah, maybe uh, something you could check out uh, on uh, YouTube. Uh, that was basically pretty much it for today. Um, out of a bit of a different uh, view angle or angle of view today, at least for the end. Um, let's have a quick look. What do we have tomorrow? Let's check out tomorrow's bag and I have to get up for this. Well, quite a weird format. Pretty thin, oops, pretty thin and very lightweight. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to see what this is. Probably it's not too uh, fragile and I keep on throwing things off the table. But um, yes, we will see tomorrow what this is, the 23rd of December, the f well, the second last episode. I hope you enjoyed and I see you tomorrow. Until then, see ya.